favorite moment. Hee hee hee. We made it. Looks so nice outside. My back took so long to come out. I was nervous that it wasn't coming out. Oh, there you are. <laughs> yeah. Tiny camera. Yeah, like I love it. You should use this. Are you ready? Okay, wait, which one do you want? Mm. Honestly, I'd be fine with them, yeah. They're all cute. Is it four of them? Yeah, I think these are the options. Mm. I think Abby in his little blanket is cute. Oh, okay. Oh, it's very straightforward. Yeah, I skip out on the. Ta -da! Cute! What's on his back? Um, cheese sauce. <laughs> cheese sauce? Who do you get? Like it. Oh, oh the same one. Yay, twins, twins. Wait, that's kind of cute though. And that's cute. Okay, yay. that's perfect. <laughs> Hi. I know. I know she's so small. I have to practice my order. Oh, I feel like that's the thing. Got the flying Dutchman finally. I don't know. I'm gonna eat this. Watching more fish on the screen <laughs> after being surrounded by fish. Are you enjoying? I'm confused. I looked away for a second. I don't know what's happening. We're here. Are the tables still in the trunk? Or the six foot in the box? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. set it up right Thank you, Dad. There's a box in there that I need, but I can grab it. I am here. Thank you, Cloris, for the canopy. And thank you, Kelsey, for literally everything else. Um, gonna set up. I'm like debating on what the setup's gonna look like, but I'll figure it out. This took way too long. Um, I need to keep an eye on my phone. Okay. Um, this is the final look. Let's see if I can zoom out. Um, yay! I'm exhausted. Um, my proxy told me that Otaku Fest went okay for today. They're almost done, which is crazy because I am just getting my day started. The PSC and ESC really humbles me. But um, my mirror is back. It's cracked. I don't know if you can see it, but it's cracked. Whatever. And then um, there's bucket hats up here. I brought only like, I made this very like, I didn't pack that much and I made it very kind of like norm, non weeb friendly, normie friendly. I don't know how to call it. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so post it here and one nod. Here's my POV. Um, I went diagonal, inspired by Dream Cream Christy. So this is the back. Um, I feel like I'm very open to, oh my God, what is that? What is that line? Oh, interesting. Okay, anyways, yeah, this is the back. Thank you, Kelsey. Saved my ass and my stomach. I'm so hungry. It's 4.38 PST, so then in Miami, it's 7.38, so then day one was over at Otaku Fest, which is crazy because I just started. So it's kind of strange how the time goes like that. And 
like the difference between night market and cons, like the hours. But I put like a wall because the wind was really scaring me earlier. I was setting up and the this one, this one just straight up like flopped over and like shattered. So I had to have people help me, which was so, I was so grateful. The community is amazing, but I was so, so annoyed that I had to redo it. So yeah, I don't know if you can hear the wind, but you can just occasionally. So I'm just like weighing it down with a lot of things. So Friday, I expect it to be not that busy, but we'll see. I mean, people are still at school. It's like 4.30, but yeah, I am just, maybe I should have brought my book. I really thought about it, but it's okay. And yeah. So for Otaku Fest, um, I did pretty similarly to last year's Friday. I have to count my proxy has to count the cash to like have like the exact numbers. I think it was slightly slower than last year. I did expect this because it went from January to May, which was like a huge date change, and then they also had a venue change. So then I was expecting, I was kind of worried about it. So it's actually not that bad considering all of it, but I can't really judge until Saturday. So tomorrow I'll know if Otaku Fest date change and venue change affected a lot of things or if it's like the same so yeah I am nervous I hope I hope it's worth hiring a proxy I was like desperate for money but I hope I can profit on top of my proxy and all the investment that went into it so the sunlight is hitting it perfectly she's beautiful I have my new items with me, which is like the switch thing. It like, you can change the thing inside. And then this. And I made small packs for it, which I'll show you later. And then these. Oh, I forgot to put the Pochito one. I'll put that up later. And then I'll put this up. It's hot. Yeah. But trying my best. The sun catcher boards, I don't. I'm pretty sure I ordered a letter size. I don't know why they came so small, so I had to do this weird format because I didn't have time to get it delivered. But yeah, so much expansion, so many keychains. Wanna say hi? Oh, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. <laughs> she made this customization table, which is super cute. And they're like, you can see like the small beads and it's so cute. All right, let me know when you're ready. Take your time. <laughs> Take your time. And all these stickers. Like these walls. Oh my god. I, can't. I, I can only imagine doing this local. Even when I'm local, I feel like I would hesitate this. You're ready? Okay. Are you keeping the audio? Yeah, I'll probably keep the audio. But hello. Hi, Gio. <laughs> it's so good to see you. <laughs> Yeah. Know what to follow. Yeah, it just it tracks my face, I think, so it'll stay. Hi. The sun is hitting my arm perfectly, so I'm like kind of hot. But for the switch shakeable charm, I made like these small packs and like put the acrylic charms in here, so that if people buy it, they can just like get the whole set. And I thought it was kind of cute, like the packaging. Like I've never really thought about investing into like this kind of packaging but it's so ASMR so there's five kinds there's that and then there's this one I thought it was cute so I'll be launching these a week from today on my online store too so I'm super excited yeah it was like a thing I got on Amazon where you heat seal the bottom and I kind of like found that very therapeutic maybe I'll just film it next time as an ASMR POV at 6.30, sun is finally like semi-setting, at least it's not in my face, so I'm like cooling down a little. My phone at one point didn't charge because they were like, it's too hot, like we can't charge your phone. 
my mirror is over there so I can low-key see people that are walking through and my allergies <laughs> allergies are so bad it is 6 30 um, as expected Friday is slow because I feel like I don't know Pleasanton is such a random location but um, I'm just vibing like the weather's really nice and as long as I break even that's not true as long as I profit a little I'll be happy um, and I'll have some good food yeah I sold my first um, switch shaker which was really nice so I think yeah I think I have a number in mind that I want to reach so hopefully I'll reach it yeah it's kind of interesting to do two events in one weekend because I've never done that before so I have to consider the sales tax part on my square and um, I'm just like struggling a little to like gauge both at the same time but my proxy is doing a pretty good job just like managing the money and everything um, I just hope the wind doesn't knock my setup over again the sun is now setting it's golden hour so thankfully I don't have to feel the heat anymore so this is the lights um, Cody, Kelsey's husband, <laughs> kindly installed these. I would not have survived without that. Thank you so much. And then I tilted the mirror a bit so now you can see the booth in the picture and I thought that was kind of cute. So yeah. It's now 8.16. It's getting darker. But this is me at my booth. <laughs> They have, uh, they have the, the starter Pokemon like Charmander. It's now 9 p.m. and the mentaiko tamagoyaki was insanely good. Although like I think it was too creamy for me. I'm a little afraid for my bathroom trip. But on the good news, um, my switch shaker is sold out, which I didn't expect. I also ordered a very small amount because I kind of was like, I'm not really sure how people will like it so great so I guess I'll have to order more now but I'm so happy and uh, yeah so I guess I just will sell the display over the weekend and uh, yeah I'm tired it's like 12 a.m. in New York I need to sleep it is now 9 30 I think um, this is my booth now with like the lights that Kelsey provided, which is awesome. It's like really bright and nice. I love it so much. I actually like it better than the lights I have. Well, um, the switch shaker sold out, sold out, so I moved like these to look better and whatnot. I navigated like, I like just revamped it a little. Um, I am so happy that it was so popular. Thank you guys so much. I'm like shook. And then the Smitsky bucket hat sold out. I didn't, I only had four left, so then I only brought those four, so thank you so much. I have to restock these, get money to spend it again. And then, yeah, these are all the rest. And hoping that tomorrow we'll do even better. That's crazy. It's now 11. The last hour is like so dead. I should have just gone home. Well, not that I could have gone anyways, but here's my booth. I'm gonna close up and sleep. I can't wait to sleep. It is closed fully closed well yeah I hope nothing knocks over it's kind of gross <laughs> is it gonna rain oh shit it's the full rainforest experience hello finally getting far Camera eats first. Camera always eats first. Oh, that this was the whole. I thought that was it. I was like, you know what? I would be happy with that. <laughs> wow, so crowded. Yay. Oh, it's mellow. Should I get it now? Oh, no, but I'm so full. <laughs> I can't think about it. Yeah, at least wait till you don't feel full. Anymore. Yeah. That's important. Oh, I like how they look so traditional. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, 
I'm so full. I thought I wanted Tangalu. Take inventory of one. Oh, no, not yes. at all. No, yes. We're just destined. <laughs> That's what it is. Love the signage. Huge. Yeah, it's huge. Just walks up. I'm fine now. Christie's booth. No Christie though. That's Brian. Hello. Hello. Do you remember me? Yeah. Hello. You were here visit? No, for Arcadia. Oh. I love this baguette. Oh, I like the flat fish. And that's such a cute booth. And they have a dinosaur hoodie. And I like this cute like plushy box. I think it's time that I dive into plushies. And then these. I got this hat. Joy. So yeah. And then there's a mirror. I feel like such a tennis mom today with my outfit. It's all light. And I have the hat now and it's like super cute. So this is my full outfit. I don't know if you can see. Yep. Cute. I'll just oh I'll just selfie mode it. What am I doing? It's like and feel very like tennis mom. Day two of six to six. Um Otaku Fest is already halfway through. It's going pretty busy, but I do think it could be busier based on what I'm seeing on my square. Um, I'm doing like a lot less than last year's Otaku Fest, which honestly, as long as I break even, it's all good, you know? But here's everything. Smitsuki's hat sold out. I really like the hat that I bought. Maybe I'll make some kind of hats like this too, which is so cute. And then these and everything. So exciting. Did some shopping, which is from Snippet Studios, which is the hat that I'm wearing. And I bought two more hats, which is Look, looks just like Joy. And then bought it matching with Josh. So, two Joys. And then I also bought perfume from Kyler Studio. Kyler Studio? Kyler and Handcrafts, yes. And it's a perfume. Let me see if I can take it out. It's like, like that on. It's like this. And then, I'm not really a perfume person. But I want to be a perfume, perfume person, you know what I mean? So these two, and I thought they were so cute. So maybe I'll get some for Kelsey. I feel kind of scammed. This was $13. Well, hope it's good because I was in line and then they didn't have the price and I was kind of like, okay, it can't be that bad. And then I got to the front and they said 13 and I was like, okay, so. We'll try it. Okay, that is really good. But 13, hot them. It is now. It's now 2:35. I just had the tongue loot and I feel so scammed, but it's okay. Um, I wanted to try it, so I got to try it. Um, I think from now on, I'm just gonna eat it at home and make it at home. But anyways, aside from the tangalu, I'm having a good time. The fall was so good. I'm low-key having like a fall coma, and I'm just sitting here. There hasn't been any sales since one, which is fine. Everyone's here to eat usually, so they'll eat first and then they'll probably trickle in. The busiest of night markets usually starts at like 4 p.m. So I'll just wait and see. But the weather is so nice. I'm actually like really enjoying the weather. It's like perfectly warm, but not humid. It's like dry and like it's perfect. And I really like the hat that I got. Like I can't get over it. It's so cute. It's so cute. She said it wasn't popular and I was so surprised. Kelsey brought me food. Um, I'm not really sure what the pink sauce is. I'll try it. Okay.
feels like tastes like I don't even know what this tastes like it's good interesting let me try once more maybe I'll change my mind Pretty good. Hmm. Kelsey is my Uber Eats of the day. Oh my god, so cold. Ah. Yay. It's very cold. I am so sleepy. Okay, I'm gonna eat this because. Otherwise, I'm gonna faint. It's like so jiggly. Do you see this? Oh my god. because it's quite slow for me I think it might be just me this time what's happening but um, I I feel like there's not much traffic coming into our area so it is what it is but um, I think my goal for this weekend is to just break even in general and hope for the best I can't I can't fat I can't I can't like predict how much I'll be left with yeah well, lesson learned this weekend. Lots of lessons. Yeah, Otaku Fest didn't go like entirely hot either. Like, I think I had too many high expectations because last year was really good for me, and then this year for some reason, I think I dropped by like 30, 40 percent of last year, which is a huge difference. So, I think the date change, the venue change, just made a huge difference. So I was already kind of disappointed with that, and then. Um, Saturday and 66 not being like super like crazy that I thought it would be like yesterday is kind of disappointing so I'm just gonna look forward to the in and out <laughs> flying Dutchman because at this point like it is what it is so this is my POV I don't know why it's so bright how do, how do I make it yeah um it's getting dark. It's getting it's getting cold. Um, I like six sticks. I think I would have enjoyed it definitely a lot more if I was local. Um, not being local and coming out all the way here is kind of tough. So I'm just gonna, you know, this will probably be my last one just because I'm not local. Otherwise, I can see this being a very good like regular night market to go to. Kelsey is carrying my whole night market. Thank you, Kelsey. What would I do? Hi. I can't look without my glasses. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we definitely went through a few because some were weird. Yes. There's It's now almost 11. I'm waiting to go home because it's so cold. 
I, sh I wore a skirt and I felt really cute in the morning, but now I'm like regrets only. I honestly don't know. I'm kind of screwed tomorrow because my flight on Monday is 6:30 a.m. and then we end at 11 p.m. So Kelsey's house is like two hours from here, so then two hours from the airport and one hour from here. So I was kind of like. Oh, no worries. I'll just Uber straight to the airport after packing up. Which I don't... I mean, I think I can do it. I just, I just, I'll just sleep on the plane, but goddamn. I'm kind of nervous about it because I'm like so tired right now. I can't. I can't imagine doing that tomorrow. Day one is... Not day one. What is this? Day two is done. I'm so cold. I'm gonna pack up early because I can't do this anymore. It's so cold. I miss my heated mattress. For clothes for day two. I am so cold, man. I can't do this. I gotta go home. I need to bundle up. I need to take a hot shower. Like steaming hot. It's the last day, but I realized I never really enjoyed like never really enjoyed everything in the market so I'm going to wander and I also have to eat and I also desperately need coffee because ain't no way so yeah I'm gonna get some minor content whatsoever so yeah I'll take it easy for the first hour my hat again it's nice Gotta enjoy this before it gets cold. Looks good. I'm excited. All right, finally set up. I like ate so much food. It was nice. Um. So bucket hats are almost gone, like the display ones I think are mostly left and then sticker books surprisingly, surprisingly people really like Chainsaw Man on the, in this place so I really was surprised because I thought Chainsaw Man was kind of dying but um, I haven't sold, it's okay. And then um, the keychains are doing standard, um, kind of everything that I expected, the Jubilee items are popular and then the post-its are popular. So I'm glad I prepared. Air fresheners were like pretty okay. So yeah, I think everything is like pretty much ready to be packed up later and like whatever. Oh my god, I'm so full. <laughs> Here is the mirror. So I think it's been popular. People are taking photos with it. I feel like I could use it more, you know, but <laughs> I think I was just too overwhelmed with everything. So this is how it's just gonna be. And Here's how the crowd looks right now, like slowly trickling in, like nothing crazy. I might just use the bathroom now so I can not worry about it for the rest of the day or for the, for the next few hours. Yeah, and then here's the back of my booth, like just my... Sponsored by Kelsey, by the way. Thank you so much, Kelsey, for getting my chair, my table, my lights, and my whole housing situation and a car. Like, I can't think her enough so yeah and then the canopy was from Chloris so thank you Chloris so much every time I come to the night market I'm just always like relying on the community here and they always are there for me and I think that's honestly I think that's why I really do like night markets in that sense like there's like a sense of community here stronger than the anime cons I think personally so then I personally really enjoyed like the bonding and meeting people here so yeah my neighbor of the weekend oh what why is it okay there we go cute keychains and cute stands oh and then birthday cards super cute it is 2.35 I got food I think I actually have way too much food right now and then I'm normally not a coffee person, if you guys know, 
um, I don't know if I've ever talked about it, but I'm really bad with caffeine. So I normally never, ever, ever got coffee because if anything, I get a panic attack. So I usually try to stay away from caffeine and boba in general because I'm really weak with it. But today, oh my god, when I got off the car, I was like, I need coffee. I was like, if I don't get coffee, I will not survive today. So I got coffee and I feel like so alive. I guess this is how people feel normally with coffee. So yeah, I'm finally happy that I get to experience what regular coffee drinkers experience but yeah and then um i bought two more hats again from the what's her name what's her name sprout sprout S snippet snippet studios i don't know where sprout came from i got three of these i got three tiny nuggies so cute and then i got two hats of more joy for my friends so they can all forcefully match so yeah, but I thought this was so cute. Honestly, like if I ever go into original merch, I think that direction is definitely something I would love, enjoy making. So things to consider. And um, yeah, so I am thriving. Weather's nice. I like slept in the car and I slept through the whole night without any jet lag issues. So finally, I think I feel on the third day, I feel like I feel, I feel rested. I feel prepared for that potential onliner that is coming for me. I can't speak too soon, but I think I'll be okay, but yeah, um, so yeah. Also, now that it's 2.37 here, we're almost at the end of Otaku Fest by Miami, which is like EST, so it's like 5.30 and we end at 6 p.m. EST, so that one's been like okay. I'm kind of disappointed because last year, in, I mean obviously the date venue change was a huge, like, change that I didn't anticipate would affect sales this much but um, I dropped by like 30-40% or even more I think I have to count but I think it's almost like 40% drop from last year's like revenue so I was kind of like shocked <laughs> that it would be that much of a drop and now I know if there's like a date change a venue change that I should be more careful about making those decisions on like debating on whether it's worth it or not so I will be doing that from now on so lesson learned but I am glad that I did send the proxy because I think combining both events like the revenue now becomes like a good one event so then like obviously my net profit I think is lower than a oh shit my sub catcher fell okay one thing about the night market is that it's so windy and things just knock off so you need weights everywhere but anyways I think going to a double event even despite it being like not the biggest profit I was anticipating I think it was a good experience for me because I wanted to see what that looks like in terms of packing I had to pack everything like but in twos which was stressful but like it helped me gauge like what should be prioritized and where it should be prioritized for example like the way I prioritize more post-its and like uh, sticker sheets here and like bucket hats here because I knew it was an outdoor event and like people would get hats and stuff more than like my keychains which is like anime merch which is already pretty niche I think while as in for um, Otaku Fest I focus more on like the heavy anime merch like keychains and like post-its and the uh, sticker books so that people could get more of that so like I think gauging your audience or like me learning how to gauge that audience was very important at this point of my business so that was really um, a good experience and I technically broke even and I did profit not by a ton that I was hoping for but I did profit so I think overall this weekend while being extremely tiring I think it was worth it and um, yeah so it's very windy today it's like the seventh time these just like went flying to the floor i guess it's not a problem that i ever thought about but now i'm thinking about it for night markets and um yeah the mirror is holding up i had to retape it a bit because it is holding on its last string but honestly not too surprised because it's the back it's like holding on to its dearest life with blue tape Ugh, I had to move my sticker sheet display. It was like flying away. So now it's just like this. It is now 518. Um, the crowd's been pretty busy and um, I am in a good place. I actually think today's better than Saturday for me at least. I'm confused. But 
it is 6 11. Um, the crowd died down for the past hour, but I'm still getting like semi sales and uh, I'm getting in and out for dinner. <laughs> Flying Dutchman, I'm so excited. And then um, I'm a little worried about the cold at night, but hopefully I can handle it. Yeah. It's 6 30 and I'm gonna get my in and out real soon. However, um, <laughs> I thought it was funny because I think it's one of the vendors kids here I've been seeing this one kid for like three days now who will bring like a different item every time he approaches me and will want to trade it to something here but I wasn't interested in trading the item he was bringing me but he kept trying with different items and I kind of felt bad and yeah um, yeah I thought that was interesting and he came by just now again so that's pretty funny um, I felt bad, but I was really not interested in the Lego set he had. <laughs> oh, wait. Where's the onion? What? There's just... It's just patties? <laughs> what? I'm confused. What? Where's the onions? It's now 7 almost. Here's my booth. I love the sunset look on my booth. It's like so pretty. Um, sales have slowed down significantly since the afternoon. I guess people prefer coming during the day since tomorrow's Monday. And then um, my back looks like this. Yeah. It's now officially nighttime. It's 8.30. Surprisingly less cold today. I think it's because I'm also layered up to prepare myself. and. Um, here is the booth. The Anya bucket hat sold out. Thank God. And then um, these are the only ones left. And then air fresheners, microfibers, sticker books. Um, I'm hoping these will go, but I don't really have hopes for it. Like high hopes. Um, here's the sticker sheets. They keep curling because of the wind and everything, um, but it's fine. And then here is everything else. And then across my booth. This is what it looks like, and here's my mirror. You can see everything. And then here's now all the crowd and everything. I feel like it's like adequately crowded. I'm sure the food stalls are more busy than us. But yeah, there's also a Stussy booth over there, and it seems really busy. I saw like a line earlier. I'm not really sure what it is. Here is the back of my booth. I have all the hats, like so many hats. And then um, my bucket hats. Post-its in here. I think I'm gonna keep this box and use it as a post-it transport box because my plastic box that I had broke and I think it's just time to have something more practical and cheap um, and easily replaceable. Microfiber's here. And then there's my leftover trash food. Don't worry about it. And then here's the keychain containers and then yeah, and then these are the, what is it called, canopy walls. Hello. How much does this cost? Oh. <laughs> Let me guess, $14. 15! <laughs> <Fifteen. laughs> it's now 9.20 and like an hour and a half until closing. Is it an hour and a half? Yeah, hour and a half till closing. And then um, I initially was debating on going to my friend's house to stay with her until the airport, but Kelsey said she will give me a ride. Thank you, Kelsey. So I'm always down for a free Uber. So I'm going to go get that ride and stay at the airport. And I will somehow stay up until 6.30 a.m. flight. And then I'll sleep for the rest of the flight and then I'll be home. Just need to hang in there just a little bit more and I will be free. My God. Zinju chili oil, finally. They didn't have wontons this weekend, but... And then Kelsey got me another um, lobster roll. Because holy shit, these are really good. I was kind of shook, shook. So this is going to be my last night mar mar market, in my opinion, unless something changes. I went on out. I am so excited. Like there's no customers, so like... What am I gonna do with me? I also have a long night at the airport, so I should stay like full.
Look at this is better than earlier. What the hell? Yay, it is now 11. Or almost. I'm gonna close up anyways because everyone else is closing up. So, I'm gonna close up. Yay, thank you, 626. It was too cold. <laughs> Thank you, Cody, for the ride. This is my place to be for the next at least five hours. I'm so screwed. I'm already sleepy. I think I like... I'll be okay. I think now that I'm like sitting and have nothing to do for hours, I want to talk about how Otaku Fest went and then how 66 went. In case anyone was curious on how the difference was and everything so basically like like I said earlier 66 I packed more for like non anime fans like things that you would relate just even not being like a intense anime fan or like just like a yeah and then oh, oh that moves what the hell that artwork is moving anyways um I'll show you that's so strange um I'll show you a thing later but um Oh, it's a timer okay anyways okay let me just show you that's just that that thing I thought it was an artwork but it moves it like moves I, I, I swear hold up it was moving earlier yeah 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 see 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 it's like moving that's fucking crazy whoa it's so crazy Obviously at Taco Fest, I didn't do as well as I thought I would. I dropped in like 40%-ish in revenue compared to last year's Otaku Fest, which is a crazy drop, even just like in one year. So that was kind of sad. And 66 was exactly what I thought it would be. I actually thought it would be lower than what I expected, but I did a lot better than I thought. So I'm pretty happy. I feel like for me at least, Bay Area, has a lot more of like big purchasers rather than like rather compared to like LA because LA is so oversaturated with like a lot of anime events and like these like night markets and everything so I feel like people know that they have like a lot more opportunities like a next time opportunity to purchase something else that they want even if they don't buy it now but I feel like the area the vibe I got was that like if I don't buy it now I won't see it again kind of vibe is what I felt like a lot of customers were like are you gonna be a fanime and I was like no I didn't get into fanime and they were like oh then I have to buy it now because I won't ever see you again and I was like oh okay so then that happened a lot was what I noticed this weekend so that was nice although I really like while I really love like the night market community because I feel like a lot of them are very like community-based like a lot of same locals see each other in all of these night markets and um, a lot of repeat like locals come back so I think that was like really nice and I feel like every time I come here I feel like a sense of community like I see the same people over and over again and they're all so very willing to like help out each other throughout the times like my neighbor was so helpful with like my setup and takedown and whenever they heard something like fall from my display from the wind they were like not even hesitating to like come over and help and they were like what should I do to help you like what can I do um, and I feel like a lot of my friends like Cloris, Kyler, Kelsey they were all very willing to like help me out with a lot of different things that I couldn't have definitely done alone so thank I'm so thankful for the community that I met here but I think I think it, what makes it difficult is that I have to always get help in order to do these events since I'm not a local. I have to borrow a canopy, I have to borrow tables, or even buy it, return it, either way. And then I have to prepare electricity, and then I feel like I'm also not really fully using the display aspect of the booth to cater to the night market audience. Like Cloris's display has a very hands-on display and I feel like there's a lot of things I could change up in my display that like would increase audience engagement but yet I can't do that because I'm so limited in like the flying so I think with that being said like and I think flying for 6 to 6 is no longer worth for me in that sense so I think I'll be only visiting as like a audience or maybe once in, once in like maybe maybe one day I can just visit just for Bunsies if I have no other events going on and I'm like desperate to go somewhere 
but yeah, I think going from New York to LA for LA and Bay for a night market is just a little brutal with the time difference too. Like that awkward jet lag, it's so, so painful. I think Otaku Fest, obviously I haven't been there in person this weekend, but I think with the numbers I've seen this year, I am willing to give it another year. I'm hoping that like it can go back either to its original date or original venue because I feel like that was where it worked best, at least for me, and I want to see what happens. But yeah, I think I need more, I need another year to like gauge what that actually, what I actually feel about like vending there. But um, thankfully I broke even, I, it seems like, so I'll give it another year. And uh, this double weekend is finally to coming to an end soon and I am... You know, that went by faster than I thought. It is now... 413. I'm gonna pass away, but I'm actually not that bad. I'm really hungry actually. I even like brushed my face. Not brushed my face. Oh my god. Brushed my teeth and washed my face in the bathroom. It was kind of nice because it was just me.